country did our ancestors come from? That's a good question, Hamilton. We came from Italy, a little town there. Uh, it was called Poggio Fiorito. And uh, there's only 600 people lived there. And it's very small, but very quaint. What year did our ancestors immigrate here? Uh, my dad came here in 1956. And my mother and I came here in 1958, two years later, to join them. What was our ancestors' country like? It was a beautiful country. I mean, uh, all kinds of fruits and vegetables. It was a, a farming community. It was really beautiful. Uh, grapes and things like that. So vineyards, very, very beautiful. Was it similar or different from where we live now? Oh, yeah, it was much different. I mean, that was that was country. This is, we live in a city now. So we went from country to city. They're both nice. Do we still have family members that live in that country? Yes, we do. So don't you? You have family members there. Huh? Your, your, your grandmother has a, a brother and a sister, nieces and nephews, and I still have cousins myself over there, so yeah. Have we ever visited the country of our ancestors? Of course. I believe you went too. You were kind of small. You might not remember, but you were there too. Yes, we've been there many times. Why did our ancestors move? We moved here for a better life because after the big war, there wasn't much left after the, that. I don't want to scare anybody, but yeah. So a lot of people moved to a lot of different places. United States, America was one of them to find jobs because there was no jobs. Did they travel by ship or by airplane? Well, not too many back in the 50s traveled by airplane, mostly by ships. What city or state did they come to when they first landed in America? Well, we landed in New York City, but we didn't stay there. Took a car up to Boston, Massachusetts, and uh, we've been here ever since. Do you know what they did for work when they first landed here? My dad did odd jobs, but mostly construction, and then he got a, a, a factory job that he landed, and he stayed there for a long time and worked the same job for a long time and retired. Does our family have any artifacts from our ancestors? Mm, I'm thinking, yeah, there might be some rings and things like that. I remember the trunk that we brought over from Italy that's hanging around somewhere, the big trunk that was in, inside the ship with all our clothes and stuff, so that's still around. What special traditions have been passed down from generation to generation? Oh, what are traditions? Making pasta. <laughs> we love pasta. Making pizza. Those are good traditions, huh? Yeah, we love to eat those things. But we, we had some games, too. They look, they like to play horseshoes and stuff. What was it like on a boat for 10 days? Oh, we we, we uh, tossed and turned, buddy. And I was running all over the place. And my mother was hanging on to me. Everybody on board, I don't know, there was six, 700 people on this ship. And everybody was mad and the rails, just to see a glimpse of the Statue of Liberty. I thought that was pretty cool. You know what I was concerned about losing my watch overboard? Isn't that strange? I was seven, I was like your age. Pretty young. <laughs> yeah, your age.